Hi, it's Katie Seriani Bull, and I'm back with Katie Stories number, well, I could call it 41 or 42, or I could call it number one of Katie Goes Political. <laughs> I decided to do that my story's standing up today because I am standing up. I'm using my voice, and I'm speaking up about a bunch of things that not everyone's really comfy talking about these days. There's a lot of shaming, there's a lot of division among us in our country and our next door neighbors in the States, right? I'm wearing my Stones t-shirt because, hey, you know, they stuck it to the man in the 60s, sex, drugs, rock and roll. Isn't that interesting? That actually sex, drugs, rock and roll is now being sort of pushed on our youth to distract them, I think, from really understanding some of the things what's going on in the world. But before I get into that, I just want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. And I'm truly happy and so grateful to live in this beautiful country. I want to keep it this way. And the freedom of speech, as far as I know, we still have it. Censorship is alive and well. My uh, Instagram account, my last story telling you Instagram killed me and I liked it because it really opened my eyes. I've been awakening for the last few weeks and are not always getting it right. I, um, I'm, I'm having to ingest a lot of information, um, things I'm reading, things from friends that I trust on what's going on, not only in our country, but our neighboring country and around our world. And from what I'm, I'm gathering, it's not pretty. From what I sense inside, I, I may not be a big intellectual match for the, some of the people that come on and challenge me about my sources. And I, I humbly accept that and I'm trying my best to slow down and check those sources. Part of what I'm trying to explain on that is that I currently don't trust a lot of sources out there for us Canadians because so much of those independent radio stations are funded by our government and I feel being heavily controlled by our government. Last night, I had the best sleep I've had in weeks, um, watching the Conservatives come up in the polls. Wow, Canadians' eyes are opening. Bing, they're seeing the truth. Justin just is going so above the law that he thinks he can just blacken out these documents and then pay off his friends in, in that sector to sweep it all under the rug. And man, if you think it's scary speaking out about which you even know little about, but you feel strongly and getting shamed. Wow, just imagine, I can't even imagine the people that are trying to expose this truth, how they're feeling being shut down. And I posted that last night, just before bed. Um, Pierre Polivare's um, analogy, like comparing to what Trudeau and his buddies are doing right now with George Orwell's 1984. And he talks about the round and round, right? That they just want to keep you in a state of confusion. It's called gaslighting, right? We all hear about narcissists these days. And I know the teenagers keep watching you guys, okay? This is doing this for you too. I've had my freedom. I'm almost 54 and I love my life. I've been loved. I was raised in the, the most amazing family. There's a lot of synchronicities that just tie into who I am and why I'm standing up doing this and I want you guys to enjoy the freedoms that we enjoyed because I feel especially with him in power that we're heading for trouble that he does not care about us he cares about his friends and that is my opinion my feeling so stay with me keep listening and, and you listen to your own gut and your own into it and decide for yourself and read things for yourself so why have I gone political like what kind of got under my skin well I'll tell you honestly up until I voted for Justin first of all when was that like six seven years ago um it was a breath of fresh air right we all wanted Stephen Harper out I'm not a conservative I don't aspire to call myself anything. I just vote for the person I think can do the best job. And in March, right as the whole COVID came upon us and here's the wheels of our whole country slowing down and 
going into lockdown mode. Just before spring break was over, it was about a week, so it was halfway through my spring break and the teachers I work with, all the people I work with, and there, I was actually working at foster care and the news came on that Justin and his buddies were all slipping each other these big bonuses. And I was stunned. I was like, why would you do that? Really? Like we're in the middle of a pandemic. We're all in shock and, and you know, our, all of us were running slow. It was, it was stunning. We've never had this happen. And they're giving each other bonuses. So, boom, my first red flag, okay? My second red flag, you know, when the shooting happened and all of a sudden Justin's coming on saying semi-automatics have no place in Canada, I just kind of, you know, all right, okay. But then when I get home and I see my husband and his friends and, and, and all of the fire going on on Facebook, I started to tune into that. And while I don't really care about guns, I'm not a gun person and I don't think really we're a gun kind of country, it's the way he's doing it. He didn't ask, he forced. He created that bill and shoved it off without a vote. I'll tell you one thing, and you can call me a conspiracy, a conspiracy theorist, but I'm, I'm just awake. <laughs> I, I'm not into really anything like that. I'm a peace, love, and light kind of person, if you know me. And from what I've been gathering and talking and learning, and I'm not going to quote any of these sources, or this video would be, you know, three hours long. Um, well. When a country wants to change things that aren't really seen as good by its people, the first thing, well, there's a couple things they do. They, they distract you, and I'm going to get into more on that, and they inundate you with propaganda to brainwash you and to distract you. They also remove weapons. They remove your weapons if they predict that a civil war could come. So why would they want to do that? Because we're pretty peaceful and we're not out there in great big groups freaking out. And So from what I'm learning more is that Justin has these ties to wanting to bring in socialism. And some people may even agree with that because Finland and Sweden and over there has been said to be some of the happiest people on earth they're taken care of. Do we want to be taken care of here? Did my dad go off to war, World War II, and my mom's brother to free us from a man that wanted to take over the world and have everybody just like him? I know that they went off to protect our sovereignty, which was quite new. We were only really recognized strong, smart Canadians during World War I, starting with putting up a handkerchief to offset the gas and it turned to salt. People went, wow, these Canadian guys are really smart. And Vimy Ridge, the, the innovation and, and the heart and spirit that drives on, finally actually we were included in the Treaty of Versailles and I'll bet you I'm butchering that. I'm just horrible at pronouncing things. And um, we're very young. Our charter, you know, our, our freedom of rights and our Canada's charter of rights is really not that old. But in the eyes of anybody greedy and corrupt, it is. They would love nothing more than to destroy that and have an elitist group really where they are at the top owning all of this beautiful resources and precious land of ours and keeping us down. And the cheese ain't free. so. Kids, if you're still following me, I've worked with you or I work with you now, the CERB is, is good in the time being to help people. Yeah, that's okay. But on a long-term scale, you should, no, so I shouldn't say you should. I feel very concerned because it's a trap. The cheese is not free. They use the cheese to get the rat. Trap the rat, right? It's true start don't just trust what i'm saying start doing your own due diligence and if you're sort of like i was maybe even a few months ago kind of half awake but kind of half asleep start tuning into that have some alone time meditate the 
The best way to stick it to the man these days is not sex, drugs, and rock and roll. It is radical self-love. So it's reducing your screen time, even looking at other platforms that don't invade our security and privacy, such as uh, MeWe. It's a new social media program that's giving Facebook and Instagram a run for its money. And I'm gonna head over and start checking it out. There's a platform that wants to be in our federal government called the, the People's Party. And my friend uh, sent me their platform, which I haven't had time to read, but that's another thing. And they may not get in, they may just get a seat. It may take years, but we need to become more awake with what's going on. And I don't trust, I, I've come under fire for talking about my distrust of what's going on right now with COVID, okay? Not because I'm selfish, I wear my mask, I do, I have to for my job. I comply, but that's what this is about, is compliance. COVID very well may be real, and I, I know Jack, I'm just going with what's inside. I don't feel it's, I feel it's definitely been sent as a weapon. But I'm also concerned about World Health Organization's involvement because there is a lot of corruption and greed there too. And, and let me tell you, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. I, I'm not sitting there thinking Dr. Evil is on his throne plotting and planning to rule the world. But when you look back at history, it can give you clues to today and moving forward. And it's been proven that socialism doesn't work, especially here when we've already, I worked my, me and my husband worked our ass off for this house and we're still working on it for 20 years. We can do that so that we can have, oh, John Horgan is trying to come in now with a nice home equity tax. So I ain't voting NDP, that's for sure. I'll go liberal. Liberal provincial is comp entirely different than liberal federal. Um, the feds, Justin and his friends, they want to come in soon with a, an inheritance tax. This is all done really slowly, very slowly, because if they came in right away for our money, we're all gonna get pissy and get our backs up. So it's done very slowly. And in the meantime, you are inundated with propaganda on systematic racism and, oh, guns have no place in Canada and the LBTQ. I don't care who you sleep with. I love everybody. <laughs> Let's not get so wrapped up in labels that we're missing deception that's taking place. As, as Justin has his ties and his friends being brought in to break us down, to keep us asleep to give us a false illusion that we are so naive to believe that our beautiful country is immune to being taken over. And I'm running out of time now, so I'm gonna end that on, have you been reading about uh, why, well, I always say this wrong, why, 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 it's H-A-U-W-E-I, Huawei uh, 5G and, and the US has said no to it, Australia said no to it, Europe is kind of in the talks of saying no to it. Um, what they're finding is espionage, that they wanna roll out these units in Canada. I believe they have already started. And with the 5G and Huawei, they um, would actually capture every single keystroke. That completely puts us at a massive risk for security, so yes. That's why I am standing up doing this story because I'm standing up for all Canadians when I say it's time to really look into, push away the propaganda and start questioning things and don't beat each other up, okay? I know I get passionate sometimes and I may be strong opinionated because I'm awake. And in order not to be divisive, because that's what they want. Let's be love. Let's talk to one another without beating each other up about it. I got so much more to say. I'll be coming on here regularly. I did the YouTube premium. <laughs> I'm hoping, uh, you know, if I'm paying them that they uh, will keep me on here. 
and Instagram, by the way, did I tell you, I started up a new account. I've only got like 80 followers just to get in touch with some of my friends and family and people that follow my stories. And in my link, if you know Instagram, you can't post links anywhere, only up where your website would go. So I always have a YouTube link up there with my latest story. So my YouTube link on my latest story is Instagram killed me and I liked it and they took it down. <laughs> they didn't take me down, but they deleted my story. So I threw my Katie stories explained back in there, but we'll see what happens when I throw this one on there. Okay, so let's do our due diligence. Start looking into other platforms such as MeWe. Start looking into People's Party. If we want our kids and their kids to enjoy the freedoms that we have, freedom of speech, freedom of owning, a little piece of land in a great big country, we need to do this. And I love immigration. I am an, I'm founded on immigrants. My parents came here and their families came here. And we, we embrace that, I love that. It, it's colorful, um, they breathe life into our country, they bring skills that we don't have. This is awesome. Opening our doors to someone, getting in, breaching our security, and being greedy and going after our land because they just don't seem to ever have enough. Not happening on my watch. I'm gonna stand up for that because I'm kind of shameless. I'm not scared of what people think and I don't embarrass easy. And I love myself and I love you. So happy, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me if you do every day for the people that kind of come at me like, what are you talking about? Far more saying I'm awake too. Oh my God, we're awake. Every day I talk to people I work with in my community and my neighbors and even my best friends. We never barely discuss political stuff, right? Because it gets ugly. We're all learning how to do it in a way that we can exchange ideas and learn and help each other. It's really cool. So let's keep it going, okay? Yeah, we're the light, we're the love, love wins. See you next week.